Hey guys, it's Paul. Next lesson on our Shopify store, how to add Amazon products. If you want to and you're an Amazon affiliate and you want to send people to buy on Amazon and get paid the 10% commission or the 5%, depends what product it is. A lot of people would have to grab the link and grab this copy, this code, mess about. But there is a way to do it where you bulk transfer uh, products in or you do one at a time but you basically turn your shops, so this is my shop, uh, into an Amazon affiliate store where you can point people. Instead of going to, you know, buy now, you want it to say buy on Amazon, right? So this actual t-shirt is on Amazon, so I may bring that one in and show you what it does, right? So it says add to cart. We want, to th we want this to say buy on Amazon uh, and point people that way, right? I also wanted to share some books that I recommend reading, some business books some uh, self-improvement books so just importing the products even if i don't get paid by amazon would be a good idea because it would save me time so i googled amazon affiliate shopify and this one here has got 602 five star reviews well, it's got a five star rating 602 this one's got three reviews but only five stars but only three reviews you'd think they're doing themselves so we're going to use this spreader app Right, so all I do is I go to this link. I'll put a link in the video description or in the lesson on the, in the training if you are. You're going to get a seven-day free trial, $5 a month. But you're going to do one-click products, earn commissions, expand your store, uh, and basically add whatever products you want. So I'm just going to go ahead and click Get. It's going to add... It's going to tell me that it's going to manage products, it's going to manage your online store. I'm going to install the app. It's going to tell me there is a seven day free trial, $5 a month after that. So I'm approving that charge. And you know, if it's going to make you money and save you time, then it's always going to be worth it. So what you're going to have to do is uh, integrate the code, join Amazon and import products, right? So let me pause. So what we first need to do is integrate the code. So at the moment on any product, it's going to say add to cart. So we want to say, if this is a certain product, we want it to say buy on Amazon instead, right? So what it's saying is click, follow this guide to integrate spreader code, right? So I'm going to come to this guide. This guide is a walkthrough. Open your Shopify admin, click on online store, go to actions, click edit code, click find product template liquid, and then find the add to cart button and then underneath the add to cart button I'm going to add this code right so I'm going to find add to cart and then add the code right okay so what I do is I go to um, my admin so it's whatever your site is admin I go to online store I go to actions edit code then it said find product liquid Product training dot liquid in sec it's probably in sections, right? Yeah. So in sections go to product training liquid. Sections template product liquid. Find add to cart. So I'm pretty much sure it'll be add to cart, right? So if I actually search for cart product single product add to cart section id so let's see if there's anything else product add to cart that's not it variant add to cart form action cart add but here's the add to cart right see in fact if you'd have gone it probably did tell you to go search that did it um support yeah so if you'd have searched i should have searched add to cart it would have been easier add to cart right or something like that and it would bring me to this point where button submit add button button single product add to cart right so we're happy that that is where i need to be and then it says on the next line add this information so in there add that right now you may want to copy the whole thing into a 
clipboard first before you do all this. And not in fact you you should, <laughs> unless you really know what you're doing. And click save. Asset saved. Preview. Nothing really should have changed. Hopefully, I, the tra my training ones are not. Uh, have already been changed for different things. So it's still happy, still working, still got the little flash. So I've done the first part, I've added the code. So the next part is join Amazon Associates program to get your Amazon uh, and save it in the settings section, right? So you're gonna join Amazon Affiliates. So obviously I already am one. I don't do a lot with, with Amazon Affiliates, but you know, I want to get a little bit better. I want to go to tools, promotion. I'll tell you what, I've just been here. Link your accounts, product overview, promotion, product links. Oh, it's up here. So if you go up here, look, manage your tracking IDs. And if you want to put any of my tracking IDs on your products, that's fine. But I'm going to use this one. Look, Paul Nicholson-20. I think the US the US ones dash twenty, the UK ones dash twenty one. I think I'm not logged in. I'm not gonna log in. But yeah, so I'm looking for this product code to add to my settings, right? So I'm gonna go to settings. I'll open up in a new window just to keep that initial page. So United States, my product code is Paul Nicholson twenty. Default value. I'm not sure if it lets you do more than one. Yeah, Amazon for the country region from where you want to import products. So I want to import them from the US because I, I want it to be in dollars. So I'll leave that as it is. So I'll do it again. United States. Okay, save. So I've done that second part and now import start. Uh, importing products. So if I go here and home, so what shall we do first? Well, let's do this, the blue Yeti. So this microphone, where are we? Where are we? This one here is the microphone I'm actually using. So I wanna, people say to me, what do you record your videos on? How do you do it? Well, this is the microphone I use, right? So I can, I would think search for Blue Yeti. Search all, oh, do I have to, keyword, yeah, Blue Yeti microphone. Uh, for searching Amazon items, you need to set up Amazon Web Services. Okay, so we'll go through that as well. But let's do add a product link. So let's do one at a time first. So if I take this link and try putting one product in, add product, check in, look in, product added successfully, view product. And there now is the Amazon uh, Blue Yeti view on Amazon, right? Now my button here, I'll probably have to get in touch with the guys at Spreader because I've it's done this before, is there's something that puts this little box in. Now, you shouldn't have that, you should be fine. Um, I'll probably add a section at the end of the video how I fixed it, but I don't wanna slow this video down. Every, um, every theme may have a little funky thing like this because I think it's something to do with that flash on the view button that doesn't let it done. But if I click view, it allows me to jump to that product. Amazon knows that I've sent somebody there and um, it will, I'll get paid 5% commission or 10% commission if somebody buys that Blue Yeti microphone. So let me just pause you again and I'm gonna go through how to set up the AWS credentials, but I like to look through it first rather than slowing you down. Right, so now we're gonna set up the Amazon Web Services credentials so that we can bulk import items. So I'm on the United States, my affiliate is Paul Nicholson 20, oh, 30, 20. 
And it says here how to get your um, things. So you go to the Amazon, Amazon affiliate program. Then it says you're going to go to tools, product advertising, API. Tools, product advertising, API. Then it says that you would click uh, part of the advertising programs for you. Important due to changes, blah, blah, blah. Please pause, join button will not be active for new users, won't you? Okay. So uh, click manage credentials buttons below. So, so manage. This may ask me for a, where's my phone? Send code. So it's just text me a code to my phone. I'll go through it and I'll then I'll reset it. So if you're watching it, don't use my credentials. I will reset. Oh, it's just sent it to my email. Amazon. Get your code. Put in your code. I've just done this. And I'm in. Can you continue to security credentials? Access keys. So I've got a few that have been around and now deleted. Create a new. Show access. I'm going to copy this. If I can go back to this box into access key. I'm going to copy this. Into secret key verify and save so it worked so now this time when i go i'm gonna go happy me philosophy see what comes up i'm after that t-shirt right uh it's not a great search amazon uh oh let's so let's try it in let's try it in fashion <laughs> i'm not sure if it'll come up oh there you go look Men's beat here yeah, now in silver. So it does it, it's doing it in separate t-shirts. So men's happy me retro. Kids fun t-shirt six silver. So it is gonna do absolutely every variant when I search for that. So I don't really want it to do that. But what I might do is what am I thinking? Um so I, I like Bob Proctor. So if I do Bob Proctor and then do box so the abc of success and i can go through and add the ones that i'm thinking thinking are worth buying right or worth uh that i recommend so i might add this product the power of the mind what else have we got? So I could do. It doesn't actually tell you the price, shouldn't it? it? Should tell you the price, maybe. What else am I going to recommend? I don't know if the War of Art is there. Yeah. So so let's do Stephen Pressfield. Yeah. So the War of Art. Do the work. Turning pro. These are the four books that I would recommend. So I could add. Product, add product, add product, add product. So it's easy. It's not really a bulk import, isn't it? It's a bulk search, but it's not a bulk import. So is there a place to default values, auto sync? Markup prices, analytics. I'm not going to go into all that because it's just going to make this video really long. But obviously you can change prices if you want to change them to make them more. If you're going to sell them on your site versus Amazon. If you're going to make Amazon a fallback. Uh, analytics and stuff I'm not sure I'm going to use. So for me, I just wanted to use, use it to quickly import products. To quickly link to them. So you can see, I'm going to have to go through and edit the collection. So it grabs, the thing that's really saving you is the time where it grabs the image, it grabs the product, it grabs the information. So down here is the description. 
uh, everything you need to know is obviously the picture that's been pulled in then view on Amazon I've got to fix that button so a fast way to have a, a view on Amazon store adding products to your website you know to bulk it out so now I've got though you were born rich obviously I'm going to add these in a collection so I would really go and put um, products uh, collections create a collection uh, pull book recommend I'm definitely going to spell that wrong but luckily the computer knows how to spell I'm going to manually add them or I could add them through a, a, a different um, through a, a criteria but I'm just going to do a man, manually select products and save and then go to products go to uh, find those Steven ones I don't know if it'll show that yeah that probably spelt it wrong didn't I did it bring up his name there you go oh Add to collection, add to pull book recommendations and save. Now when I go to one of these books on my theme, it's going to say pull book recommendations. So now I can put up in the top there, I can have a catalogue and put in Paul's book recommendations up here. So as you see, it's not perfect. It's actually good that it's showing current price versus Amazon um, so it's on sale sale price so you get in the you know 1278 on Amazon it used to be 1395 view on Amazon and you can go and buy it straight away so any questions fire away below you can see that I've got a little bit of tinkering to do to get this button to work hopefully on your theme it'll work straight away but I'm pretty sure that you're gonna be able to email you know, you got, I got an email from, from the guys that's saying, if you've got any problems, feel free to contact us, support at spreader.freshdesk.com. And you should be away. It's an easy way to add more products to your store, isn't it? It's not going to cost you anything. Um, but it's $5 a month for the app. But, you know, you can add a lot more products to your store. Uh, before you leave, I'd be interested to see if it goes on Facebook. If faith, if the store will sink, pull book recommends. Right? Will it show? Did I put the products on? So let's have a look at this blue yeti one. Right? Let's um, available on, and I'm going to put it on Facebook by an Instagram. So when I go to oh. When I save it, when I go to Facebook, am I going to see all products? It's probably going to be this one when it loads. There's a lot of loading going off. Yeah, I've got a lot of products now, aren't I? I need to streamline my store. I've done a lot on these videos and... Sync with your sync your collections with Facebook. In fact, oh, I'm getting scatty again. I don't. I I, I had it all sorted, dinner and I just got scatty. Right, collections. Paul's book recommendations available on all stores. Right, so all products. Let me go press field again. See what these ones are showing. Unavailable. So I want to turn these on. Just because it'll be easy for me to find this one. I just want to see what it does on Facebook. It will show, but I think the, the checkout page will come to Shopify and not to your Paul's book recommendations, right? I'm going to sync with Facebook. The collections are being synced. I'm going to go to my shop and now on Facebook. 
Come on. Is it not synced yet? Polls trading. All products. Search. What was it? Uh, Yeti. So that it hasn't synced yet, but then, but then it's not. Uh, there's a thing on Facebook that won't let you sell a a um, product that isn't being shipped as well. So let me just. I'd be really surprised if you're still here now. Come on. There we go. Oh, so it did. So it's processing right. So the chance, the thing that it's going to do with, with the Facebook thing, your product is being processed, usually takes, it may say, because it's not a shipped item, that you can't have it. But when you go to check out on website, it goes to the checkout page. It doesn't go to the shop page. So that'll be something worth watching for if you tag your products in Instagram posts or you put on Facebook. We'll have to look at a a workaround not to go to checkout on website because it takes the checkout page, not the the um, product page. So there's little funky things. I'm sure the guys are spreader. I've got workarounds, got ideas. Uh, answering your questions but hopefully oh, that were an introduction to how to put Amazon products on your Shopify store and quickly be able to uh, get affiliate commission for linking to them any questions leave them in the training or leave them on YouTube I'll get back to you cheers